Hey guys, what's up? This is Manoj sir, and in this video we are going to uh, solve a problem which is from Laplace transform. And basically, we are going to solve two problems in this video. First is f of t equals to t into e to the power minus 40 sin t. Second is f of t equals to e to the power minus t integration 0 to t sin t upon t dt. Okay, here we are going to find the Laplace transform of both the function of t. Okay. First part that is f of t is how much t into e to the power minus 40 into sin theta. Basically, here first we'll try to find the Laplace transform of sin theta. Okay, thereafter we will go for multiplication property of Laplace transform. Okay, thereafter we will go for shifting property because of this exponential form. We will go for shifting property at the very last. Okay. So let us try to find the Laplace of sin theta first. So Laplace transform of sin theta equals to the formula for sin a t is a upon s to the power 2 plus s a square. Okay. So here a equals to 3. So this is a 3 upon s square plus 3 square which is equals to 3 upon s square plus 9 okay now by multiplication property okay laplace of t into sin 3 t okay let us see what this property says multiplication by t to the power n okay this is the multiplication property if laplace of f of t equals to f bar of s then laplace of t to the power n into f of t equals to minus 1 power n and the third derivative of f bar of s with respect to s okay here the value of n is 1 here the value of n is 1 so here it is minus 1 power 1 first derivative of f bar of s with respect to s so here it will be minus 1 power 1 d upon ds of this that is 3 upon s square plus 9 okay this can be written as this is taking this 3 this will be minus 3 okay d by ds of taking this in the numerator s square plus 9 power minus 1 fine let us try to solve this on differentiating this with respect to s you will get minus 3 this is minus 1 s is square plus 9 minus 2 and this is 2s okay fine minus 3 into minus 1 will become 3 okay into 2 that is 6s upon this is s is square plus 9 power this is the value of Laplace of t into sin theta. Now we are going to apply this shifting property because of this exponential form. And the property says if shifting property says if Laplace of f of t equals to f bar of s, then Laplace of e to the power a t f of t equals to f bar of s minus a. Here the value of a is how much? Minus 4. Okay. So by shifting property. By shifting property what we have Laplace of e to the power minus 4 t t into sine 3 t this equals to 6 into s plus 4 upon s plus 4 square plus 9 whole square okay fine this is 6 into s plus 4 upon this is s square plus this is 8 s plus 4 square is 16 plus 9 that is 25 whole square and this is my final answer okay so the first part is solved 9 now we have to 
go for the second part that is f of t equals to minus t integration 0 to t sin t upon t dt so here will uh, how the approach will be is first we will try to find the laplace transform of sin t thereafter we will go for division property then integral property then shifting property this is how we are going to proceed while solving this problem okay now going for the second that is first we will try to find the laplace of sin t okay this is what this is 1 upon s square plus 1 okay now we will go for division property okay so what division property says okay second property is division property if laplace of f of t equals to f bar of s then 1 upon laplace of 1 upon t into f of t equals to integration s to infinity f bar of s ds okay that means we have to integrate this f bar of s from s to infinity with respect to s fine by division property we have laplace of sin t upon t this equals to integration 0 to sorry this is s to infinity here it is s to infinity okay s to infinity f bar of s okay f bar of s means this is 1 upon s square plus 1 d s okay this can be written as tan inverse of s from s to infinity now this can be written as tan inverse of infinity minus tan inverse of s which further can be written as tan inverse of infinity is nothing but your pi by 2 minus tan inverse of s which can be written as cot inverse of s okay so we got the value of laplace of sin t upon t as cot inverse of s now we will go for this integral form okay integral property we have to apply this integral property so by by the transform of integral we have laplace of integration 0 to t sin t upon t dt okay what it says yes transform of integral says if laplace of f of t equals to f bar of s then laplace of integration 0 to t f of t dt equals to 1 upon f bar of s by okay 1 upon s into f bar of s it's very simple it means we are having 1 upon s times cot inverse of s this is the value for this laplace of integration 0 to t sin t upon t dt okay this is how much 1 upon s cot inverse of s but we have to find the value of e to the power minus t into integration 0 to t sin t upon t dt that means we have to go for shifting property in the very last now by shifting property okay by shifting property we have what it says shifting property if laplace of f of t equals to f bar of s then laplace of e to the power a t into f of t equals to f bar of s minus a and here a here the value of a here the value of a is how much you can see here the value of a is minus 1 okay so laplace of e to the power minus t integration 0 to t sin t upon t dt equals to 1 upon s plus 1 into cot inverse of s plus 1 and this is my final answer if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button and please share this video with your friends thank you for watching this video thank you so much